Hi everyone, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today we are on the search for animals playing in the snow. Hello and good morning. Thanks everyone for tuning in today. We are here at the Blank Park Zoo in Des Moines, Iowa. I'm kind of excited because I've never visited a zoo in the winter, so I'm hoping I'll get to see some of the animals out playing in the snow. All right, let's go. Blank Park Zoo is a 49 acre zoological park located on the south side of Des Moines. As a member of the AZA, it is the only accredited zoo in Iowa. Once inside, you'll have tons of options. Areas to check out include the Free Range Tropical Aviary, the Aquarium, Australian and African Adventures, the Big Cat Complex, and so much more. The first animals you'll see will be a pair of bald eagles, a flock of flamingos, and a very playful otter. So I got here right when the zoo opened and so far it seems like a lot of the animals haven't come out yet, which I don't blame them. I mean, it's cold, so I probably would rather stay in my warm bed too, but uh, we're going to see what we can find. Visiting the zoo in the winter is a nice little activity to do when you need some fresh air. You can go for a peaceful walk around the grounds in about two hours and since it's not as crowded as in the summers, you can really take your time observing the animals. So this is the exhibit for the Japanese macaques and they're actually like Japanese snow monkeys. So this is really cool for me to see them in something that resembles their natural habitat um, because I've never actually seen monkeys in the snow before in real life. And since we're in Iowa and it snows here, this is actually a perfect setting for them. So I don't know if you can see, there's a couple little guys up there grooming each other and there's big guy right here. This mischievous and playful little guy's name is Shoyo. He is a two-year-old Japanese macaque and is the youngest member of the family troop here at Blank Park Zoo. The family is pretty active throughout the day and you can usually catch them interacting together. Okay, right now I'm sitting in this little cave exhibit. It's actually like a little viewing room to view these Japanese snow monkeys. There's one little guy, and I swear to God, he's been playing hide and seek with me. Um, he's been jumping over this cave and then coming around to all these windows and like peering in to see if he can see me. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> so we're gonna wait here and see if he finds me. So that's the little cave I was just sitting in and as you can see the monkeys can't see you when you're in there because it's tinted but there were actually two little guys sitting right above my head while I was in there. And they're just doing some morning grooming. I found you. Most of the African animals were still inside this morning, but the giraffe pavilion offered a nice place to warm up while watching the giraffes eat breakfast inside their homes. Shh. 
she's very interested in. My favorite part of the zoo is the big cat complex. Here is where you'll be able to get up close to tigers and lions. All right, so now we're in the lion's den. And here lives dad and his two daughters, which you can see one there and one up there on that rock. These exhibits are really, really cool because they put these heated rocks right next to the window so the animals like to lay on them and you can get a really up close view and see their fur and see them breathing. It's really awesome. <laughs> The winter is actually a great time to see the big cats because of the heated rocks. The lions will stay on them most of the day, which means they will be out and easy to spot. In all the zoos I've visited in my lifetime, this is the closest I've ever been to a lion. These sister lionesses love to hang out here and it provides the perfect opportunity to get great photos. If you're lucky, you might even hear them vocalizing. Across from the big cats, you'll find the most playful creatures at the zoo, the California sea lions. Beautiful, huge pool. And I just saw some playing around. Let's go upstairs and see if we can see some. That's a harbor seal. Alright, so if you come downstairs, they have an underwater viewing area, which is really cool. In this underwater viewing area, you can get a better idea of how they swim and move underwater, and you can see the names of each animal in the exhibit and learn all about their personalities. Blank Park Zoo opened its doors on May 17, 1986, and has been a favorite place of Des Moines locals ever since. The mission of Blank Park Zoo is to inspire an appreciation of the natural world through conservation, education, research, and recreation. Now here at the Blank Park Zoo, they are an AZA accredited zoo, which is basically the association of zoos and aquariums. Um, they have guidelines and certain standards that need to be met in order to be an accredited zoo or aquarium member. Um, so I'm a really big supporter of them. I try to only visit places that are AZA accredited. If you want to know more about that, make sure you just Google it or look it up. It's really easy to find. But basically, being a member of the AZA just tells the public and tells other people that you are taking really good care of your animals. They have enough space to live, they have the right things to eat, and they have the right kind of medical care that they need to survive and thrive. 
Another really cool thing about the AZA is they have a program called SAFE, which basically stands for Saving Animals from Extinction. And within their collection of zoos and aquariums, they have breeding programs that actually help save these species that are going extinct. Here at the Blank Park Zoo, you can find a ton of species that are a part of the SAFE program, including gorillas, lions, giraffes, Asian elephants, cheetahs, orangutans, chimpanzees, sea turtles, and even vultures. Now it is true that a lot of the animals aren't on display because of the weather and how cold it is. So like this is normally where the lemurs live. They're not out because they're obviously a very tropical species. Probably don't like the cold weather very much. However, some animals love the cold weather and you can actually see them being more active than they would normally be in the summer. Just when you think you've seen everything there is to see here at the zoo, you'll stumble across the aviary and the aquarium. As you make your way through this area, you'll come face to face with dozens of exotic free roaming birds, reptiles, and even some creatures of the night and the deep dark oceans. But don't worry, the last face you see as you leave the zoo is going to be a cute one. All right guys, well that's it. I'm about to head out of here. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hopefully you saw something you've never seen before or maybe even your favorite animal. And uh, if you did, leave me a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Man, this zoo just continues to surprise me. Just as I was leaving, bam, camels outside. Huh. Goodbye.